Hey folks, Ray from Lovely RV back here again and today I'm quite excited. My tire pressure monitoring system has arrived. I just ordered this off of uh, uh, Amazon out of the US and it, it took a, a week and a half. I was waiting and waiting. Um, I wanted to get it installed before we headed south on our trip. Uh, if you remember a couple months ago um, I did a post on uh, tire tips um, assorted tips and stuff to do with tires and I asked the commenters uh, for advice on what to get and I want to thank everybody there was a lot of different brands mentioned um, it was hard to kind of settle on one but I went with this easy RV uh, I think it's a T515 mainly because I really like to look at a display and a couple uh, friends of mine who have very similar trailers have had really good success with it without having to get any kind of a booster for it. A lot of them, they need a repeater for longer trailers. So um, let's take it apart and see what's inside it. Here we go. So I got six of the little sensors that screw on your tire valve. And these ones have the, the anti-theft uh, covering on them. So once they're locked on, People can't easily just uh, screw them off. They come with a little special wrench to uh, tighten them up. Um, a couple different power options. We have one for the lighter socket or one for hard wire. Just runs off of 12 volts. Um, different mounting options. There's a hard, looks like a fixed mount. Um, suction cup for the windshield. A little looks like a kickstand for the back. Um, we got some numbers to put on the sensors just to identify them. Um, little thing of O rings, looks like, seals, screws. Really good manual, really comprehensive. And uh, it's got pretty good sized text, which is always nice. I hate those manuals that have a tiny, tiny text. So that's good. A um, little kind of thank you form call us if you need help kind of thing so here she is easy tire let's flash it on yeah that's a pretty good display you can see that pretty good okay so uh, what did I pay I paid 309 on Amazon I see on the site itself they have it for uh, 289 I think um, of course, up in Canada, I got it shipped here. To, it wasn't on uh, Amazon.ca that I could see, so I got it on Amazon.com. And of course, with the shipping and stuff, they charge me extra tax and shipping. So I think the total was 362 American. Ouch! Convert that to can Canuckistan bucks, and it's up well over 400 dollars. But uh, if it saves a major. Uh, major uh, damage to the rig it, it'll be worth it in the long run anyway let's uh, let go read the instructions for an hour or so Familiar, familiarize myself with everything and then I'll go through I'm sure there's some setups to be done here cool okay so the first step was to number my sensors um, I went for six sensors um, there's different kits you can get with more and more sensors I definitely wanted a four for my trailer tires and then I decided I'd get the, the six sensor kit because I could put them on the, the front of the truck tires. Um, I run a dually so I decided to at this time I won't have sensors on the dually because it's more critical if one of my steering tires decides to blow out versus the duallys. I've had blowouts on the duallys in the past and frankly it, it could hardly notice it because the other tire just took over. So anyway, if, if this proves to be a, a really good system, then I'll just get four more and complete my, uh, my setup. So what I had to do was uh, peel off these little numbers, stick them on. So I have um, one and two for the truck, and then I have T1, two, three, and four for the trailer. And a tip, there's little sticky, uh, sticky things. So the tip was to add a little uh, um, clear nail polish on top of that so it, it doesn't peel off. Doesn't If the weather gets at it or anything, it won't just fall off. And that identifies each of these sensors. So the, the, the next step is to program this baby to set my uh, temperatures and PSI high and low and also 
set up these sensors so that this box knows which sensor is on which tire. So we'll go through that and give you a look at how to do that. It wasn't too hard, figured out pretty quick. First we'll set the high and low PSI and the high temperature alarms. So, so as we hold the set button for uh, three seconds, get a beep, and I can see the PSI flashing. So I can go decide if I want it in bars or PSI, leave it at PSI. And then I can go set, jumps over to the temperature here. I think I'll put it into Fahrenheit, a little easier to understand. There we go. So now you see this front axle is flashing and it says high pressure. So this is where you want to set your high pressure alarm. So we'll go it defaults to 175. Let's go down here. I usually run my tires between 65 and 70. So I think I'm going to set mine up around 85 for high pressure alarm. Oh, maybe 80. We'll see if it if it passes that just for fun. Um, set now low pressure. So low pressure. Maybe I'll set that at 60. There we go. Set. So now the front axle. Now it's going to these other uh, axles, which I don't have any. So I'm just going to go through and leave those at default get back to this first axle on the trailer that's the the one I'm gonna set up and it's uh, gonna be the same Oops. go for 80 on that it's probably a little low because tires heat up as you drive but and the pressure increases with elevation stuff like that but I want to make sure I don't set it too high at first. There we go. And like I said 60 for the low. There we go. Okay, so how do we save this? Just hang on here. Let's see how I save this sucker. So new parameters, blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold the set button for six seconds. Okay, so next we want to code these sensors. So we hold the code button down. Get into code mode. So if you see on the back of here, there's a little uh, hold sensor here. So what you want to do is you want to the sensor say which tire you want it to be. So that's going to be tire one. Put it out behind there and hit hit the code button. And get the double beep. It's recognized it. So then you move on to the next tire. I got the other front one flashing. And you just go through the same procedure. Error. Try that again. There. And we'll go, got to go down to T trailer one now. So we'll go through all these. They're not going to be used. Down to trailer one. Same deal, hold that there. There we go. And T2, next one. T2 is done. Now we'll go to T3. go and the last one T4 good so they should all be coded now through there okay and we hold the code for 
number of seconds. Okay, so you can see a low pressure warning is going off right away because they're not actually hooked to the tire. You can quiet that by hitting that. But when the low pressure warning or high pressure, whichever warning, the little light thing flashes and whatever's happening flashes. Um, so this is the way they recommend to set it up. Um, you can rec you can set it up with them on the on the um, trailer as well. I guess you you do them up and go up to it and do the sort of the same thing. But this is sort of the easiest way to go. So looks like we got her all set up. All we have to do now is go and attach our sensors on the corresponding numbered tires. Okay, so ready to put them on. They recommend putting some anti-seize. A compound on the threads there mainly because you're dealing with uh, dissimilar metals you can see that's a brass I'm putting it on a steel so you could get corrosion so that any seize will just make it easier for to get them off they won't get stuck on there so first things first is I'm gonna put the little uh, uh, anti theft thing on first screw her on quickly Try not to lose too much air. There we go. Let's put it finger tight and get the cap. Do it up. There we go. And I'll take this handy little tool and then I can tighten her up. One thing is you don't want to tighten it too tight that you you break this break the sensor or anything, so I'll take it easy on it they say. There we go, that feels pretty good. So I'll go do my other five tires, won't bore you with every one, and we'll uh, see if it works. Well, I found a mounting spot here. Not sure if it's going to be the permanent spot or not, but there's not a lot of room on the dash here. Well, I didn't want to put it up on the dash. Um, I've got other stuff up there, GPS and dash cams and stuff, so I think this will be a good spot. It's out of the way, but it's right where I can see it. All I've done right now is uh, I just used some uh, Velcro, really high bond Velcro there. So if I have to, I can take it off. I'm not putting any screw holes in or anything yet. So it seems to be working. It's finding all the sensors and reporting back with the, the air pressure and temperature. Um, I've just got it plugged in right now to the cigarette lighter too. I'm not gonna hardwire it yet. Just gonna make sure that's where I want it. So let's see, let's cycle through. You can see it goes for about five seconds and it moves on to the next tire. So we got 73 psi on that one, 69 on the truck tire there. Or I can cycle through myself here. Cool. So Maybe let me pull one of those off and we'll see what happens if it loses loses the pressure right away. Oh no, oh no, we've had a blowout. Front driver's side of the truck. Boom. Well, she works. We'll put that one back on. There you go. I think that's going to be a nice little safety device for us. I'm um, also be able to make sure my tires are at the right... Uh, temperature and uh, correct pressure so it'll save me fuel 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 along the way anyway I'm not going to get too in depth as far as review right now I just wanted to give you guys kind of an overview kind of unboxing and and a quick setup and I'll come back after a few weeks of traveling um, we're gonna go down the Oregon coast so it'll get exposed to a lot of rain and, and dirty roads and stuff and just see how these um, sensors stand up to the abuse and uh, see how they uh, maintain connection the wireless see if it works well see if I lose any along the way lose lose connection and uh, I'll come back with my likes and dislikes in a full review so until next time Ray from loveyourv.com happy trails folks keep the shiny side up cheers